I want to comment just a little bit more on Kate Gates stuff because actually a few years ago there was this home baker in Texas and she was posting on all the local groups for our city about how she just opened her doors for outside business and stuff. And so I ordered my two kids birthday cakes from her because their birthdays were like October and November, like just a few weeks apart. So I'm like, yeah, let's give this small business a chance. Her sample cake pictures look really cute. And for my son, I asked for a Captain America theme cake because that was the theme of his party. I kind of expected her to just put a shield in the middle of the cake, like out of frosting, but she tried to make it out of fondant. It did not come out amazing, unfortunately. <laughs> Like the cake did. The cake was really good. It was like chocolate. It had real cherries in it. The cake was so good. But the actual shield, like the only decorative piece of this cake, it was really bent on the sides. Like she didn't really know how to work with the fondant right. And I was, I was a little bit disappointed with that as a consumer, but the cake cost me $25 and it was like a 10 inch round cake. But it was $25. It was comparable to a Walmart price cake. And here was somebody who was admittedly new in the field. So it wasn't a big deal. You know, it was kind of like, mm, I wish that came out a little better, but not a huge deal. And it was kind of the same issue with my daughter's Ponyo cake the next month over. And the cake actually came out really good. It was delicious and it looked really good in so many places, but the, you know, central piece on the top was not that great like the characters look kind of funky and I get it not everybody is an artist so the faces look wonky the legs look a little bit wonky and again that's okay that cake cost me $35 for a two-tier cake and I understand that rainbow cakes take a lot of different layers so that is part of the price but just the audacity to say that this cake is going to be, you know, probably $80 if she charges any kind of tax, and then to not even deliver the client with anything close to what they wanted. And what I really don't get is that if this is that business's signature cake, that means pictures of it should be everywhere, and the cake having sprinkles should not be a surprise to somebody who ordered it. I mean, that should be part of the item description. I, I just, I don't understand. But at the end of the day, the cake was not up to standard for the customer. It was not up to standard to what you yourself are showing in the video. And why would you not just take accountability for that and make it right and say, you know what? We didn't do a great job. Let me give you this for half price. And I bet the lady would have been over the moon. But instead, she started this fight. And it's like, you don't do that in customer service. You just, you don't do that and expect to stay in business. Even if you do not care about losing that one customer, that customer is going to talk and you're going to lose probably dozens of customers. I know there's some people defending her and these unprofessional professionals doing things and taking money out of the mouths of real professionals, which I do not agree with at all to begin with. But I, I don't see where there's anything defensible about her. She's gross in her behavior and her business practices, and I hope she gets shut down.